Welcome to an instructional guide for the 400 series fire alarm control panels. In this video, we'll look at the panel auto configuration feature. The panel will need to be running firmware version V2.1.12 or above to have this feature enabled. Let's take a look. To enter the auto configure mode, press the M key, menu, and then use the cursor up down keys to highlight option two, auto config. Enter a level 2 passcode. The default passcode is 2222. The panel begins to query the addressable loops, searching for devices. On a fully loaded loop with 240 devices, this may take several minutes. When complete, the panel identifies the number of devices it has found. It also indicates that by selecting yes, Devices will be added with default programming. All input devices will be set as alarm types and correlated to activate all NACs and supervised output modules. Relay modules are not correlated and require further programming. After pressing the green enter key to proceed, a warning message indicates the system should be rechecked after the system has been configured. Select yes and auto default programming begins. Dual input modules that were found during the detection process need to have their initiating circuits set as Class A or Class B wired. The display will prompt for each DIP dual input module that was found. The prompt asks, is this dual input module on loop 1, address 1, configured for Class A? The selection is Class A, yes or no. Selecting no will set the device as Class B wired. Selecting yes will set the device as Class A wired. Addressable single-stage pull stations should be selected as Class A. Once all selections are made, auto-correlations are applied to the auto-configured devices. When completed, an update message is shown and the panel returns to the command menu options. Pressing the X button exits the command menu and returns the operator back to the panel's normal operational mode. Additional programming may be needed. In the next video, we'll take a look at making quick live modifications directly to the panel's database using the configuration software. Thanks for watching.